Hi everybody, welcome to Feel Real's non spoiler review of King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, directed by Guy Ritchie, and starring Charlie Humman, Astrid Burgess First Bay, Jude Law, Dijon Hansel, Eric Bana, and Aidan Gillen. So this movie is about King Arthur who was robbed of his birthright by his uncle, but once he pulls his, the sword from the stone, he has to acknowledge his, his legacy, whether he wants to or not. So this movie is a great movie, I definitely recommend to watch. It's a fresh take on an old story. Uh, you definitely get the Guy Ritchie kind of like touch in this one. Where if you've seen uh, Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr., you definitely see uh, a lot of the camera shots, a lot of the humor that come from that movie into this movie. I like that about this movie where it's kind of like King Arthur, but he's like, he's a grown man who doesn't really know what he wants to be. Like he doesn't want the, the whole pressure of being uh, the king yet he with the way he grew up in the streets it shows that he he's bent for leadership and 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 the um, Charlie Humman does a great job of keeping it serious yet light and funny throughout the whole movie his crew behind him the banter between them is excellent and I like this movie because it has it still has the magic presence that's been lacking in some of these movies I've seen and the funniest thing, the Merlin is actually a bit cut out in this movie. He is mentioned in some of the uh, one of the key points of the movie, but it does give uh, way to other mages in this movie. Where the um, the the there's a woman uh, there's a woman mage who takes uh, charge in this movie. So it's nice to see a, a woman protagonist uh, take charge in this one. And everybody in this movie uh, does a great job of keeping it. How do you say uh, within? within the time frame. Um, Dijon Hansao does a great uh, leadership role in this one. And I would give it a solid eight out of 10. Uh, there was some um, problems for myself in some of the fight scenes where they did have to like, kind of exaggerate the fight scenes with uh, um, Chris, uh, Charlie Humman and the uh, sort of Excalibur, just trying to show him that he's above everybody else. But once he faces forces equal to his own, the fight scenes get a little better. Uh, the 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 movie the movie was done beautifully like it was great as great graphics great coloring uh, they didn't they didn't go down the trope of like bleak uh, dreary England all the time uh, they did have great CGI in this movie for when it did happen the music was great it was it really got into the old feel of old England in this one and overall it was just a great experience. Uh, tell me how you how you enjoyed this movie. How you didn't like this movie. You agree or disagree with me? Comment down below. Like this like this uh, this uh, diagnostic if you liked it. And I'll see you next time on the next review.